Welcome to Paranormal Almanac with your host, Kurt Sand. That's right. I'm your host, Kurt Sandvig. I don't know when to talk during the intro. As you can probably notice, there's a new intro to Paranormal Almanac for 2024, and there's a tiny bug in the studio. That's great. There's a new intro to Paranormal Almanac written by Holden Yeager and finessed by me. But uh, he he did he performed the music. I just kind of bumped it up with the blomps and that kind of stuff. Uh, so fantastic job, Holden. He is incredible. I have no idea what any of his social media is, but if you can look up Holden Jaeger and you can follow him without being creepy, I highly suggest it because he is incredibly talented. I cannot thank him enough for that. I got to figure out how I can compensate him more than just, you know, telling you guys the theme songs by Holden Jaeger. But what an incredible, I almost want to play it again, but I won't. But what an incredible, go back and listen to it again. Start the whole thing over because that'll be easier than me playing it again for everybody if you want to. Start the whole thing over and listen to this new uh, intro. It's got a lot of little special things in the background, too, from me. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, very, very cool start to 2024. But even cooler start is let's thank the patrons. That's right. Head on over to patreon.com slash paranormal almanac for all your patron needs. And uh, the patrons are what make this show happen. Their, their patrons are what's going to, you know, compensate Holden Jaeger. Uh, no, the patrons are the best. And because of that, it's shout-out time. I hate doing this one on camera because i got to look down the whole time. But it's all right. I'm going to do it anyway. Shout-out's going out to Richard, Logan, Lori, Alec, Roger Funk, Karen, Ethan, Duran, Nikki Loves James, Lori, Alicia, Rebecca, Ann, Stephen Cher. Hey, howdy, hi. Jennifer, Heather G., your festive neighborhood skinwalker. Zuzus, what's it? Nico Cher and the Mouse. Hey, howdy, hi as well. Mark and Tina, Tortuga, Mike from Jersey, Jay Bizzle, Tracy, hey, howdy, hi. I got to say, I'm going to pause right here. Uh, thank Tracy so much for her uh, birthday Christmas slash Christmas gift that she got me, which was absolutely fantastic. I'm not wearing them now, but I was wearing them just earlier when I took uh, rum for a walk. I got to send you the photo. Don't worry, I will. Virginia Mailman, Tony the Magician, poof. Jason, Vicky, Crow, Clay, Buzz Lee, Lobito Works, Isabel, Jen, Jen, Stacy, Amber, Tracy, Kelly Joe, Menace the Beast, Sandy, Paige, Kausch, Andrea, Scott, Melody, Vanessa, Marisol, Liam. That's where I got to click on page two. There we go. Hopefully it's quicker this time, and it's not. There we go. Becca, Jake, Charlotte, and the Beasties. Elizabeth, Sherry, Art Muffin, Tim. Hey, howdy, hi to Tim. Kenneth, Ricky Ricardo, Alexandra, George, Zozo the Demon. First shout out to Zozo in 2024. Well, for all these people, but Zozo especially. Hayden, Cindy, Ashley, Carrie. Robin, Will, Lauren, Russell, Isabel, Audra, Dorian, Cindy, Paula, Jerry, Jeff, Joe, Lawrence, Melissa, the Lauren Strawn. Hey, howdy, hi. Happy New Year. Autumn, J. Mark, Manning, Carolyn, Jade, Nanashi, Todd, Jamie, and Elijah Hendrickson. Those two, two of those three were here yesterday. You'll hear more about that later. Dan, Laura Pitts, and the ever awesome, the wonderful, the gamer fan. The best. All right, so... I know I promised a holiday live stream, and I was going to do one. I even put a poll up. What day should I do it? And everybody was like, do it this day. No, do it this way. Can you wait? And I got a lot of private messages. Can I wait? So I said, yeah, sure. I can wait. It doesn't have to be a holiday one. I just thought that would be nice. You know, I had the, I had the holiday off. I figured, why not spend it with the Paramaniacs? But that's okay. We can spend it this week, maybe next week. So... I'll do the same thing. I'll head on if you can if you have the ability to head on over to the Facebook fan page. Head on over there. I'll do the same thing with a poll. What day do you guys want to do it? And then maybe regardless of what people say, I'm just going to pick one of those days and just do it anyway. And whoever shows up shows up. 
because I think that would be fun. I'd like to talk to you, um, you guys, more about Holden Jaeger and how I know him and how he did the. You know, he he showed me how he created that music and did it all himself and all the music himself. So I think it'd be fun. You know, hopefully, if you guys want to, we can do it. Um, alrighty, hold on. Let me move this over here so I can see better. And just a heads up, uh, I've tried to do this earlier. There's something going on with my laptop. Maybe I've got to just burn it and start over. Um, there's something going on with my laptop. I was trying to do the picture in picture behind me for all of the paranormal news, and it just bogged it down to the point where StreamYard wasn't even recording because I am recording this so I could throw it up on the YouTube page so you can watch me talk, I guess. I don't know why you guys like it, but you guys seem to like it, so I'll keep doing it. I think it's fun. I like seeing you, so maybe you guys just like seeing me. Who knows? But um, two special shout-outs, as always, to Joe Teague and to my boy Stitch. Um, but yeah, so new theme. If you want to send, I was thinking about this the other day. Maybe it's a new theme a year. So you guys have a whole year to come up with a new theme or maybe I'll get like five or six new themes. Cause I still have the old one. See, that's the old one. I can still play that anytime I want, but now I can play the new one. Spooky. But maybe I have a variety of themes. Maybe it's one a year, or maybe it's just a variety of themes. So if you're musically inclined, hint buzz, uh, it doesn't have to be, I'm just teasing you. Uh, if you're musically inclined and you want to try your hand at a theme song for Paranormal Almanac, send it on in. Maybe you have a whole year before you have to send it on in, or maybe you send it on and go, that's cool, I'll play it this week. You never know. So paranormalalmanac at gmail.com. Also, if you have a paranormal story for me, send them on in. I've got a bunch of them. I was going to do that... Maybe next week I'll do a listener's ghost story episode. So you have a whole week if you haven't already. I've got a bunch of them in my email now. But paranormalalmanac at gmail.com. Send in your personal paranormal story, UFO story, cryptid story, whatever you got. If it's spooky and it's true, that's the important part. I want to hear it. All righty, let's, uh, let's jump right on in to paranormal news. Yeah, or if you just want to send in paranormal news, paranormal news bumper music, I always like those. You know that. Real quick, I forgot to mention this. I had it set off to the side. Um, somebody, maybe me from the future, I don't know, sent me. Can you read that? Time travel sickness pills. How cool is that? And I was like, what the hell is that's amazing. So I've got a bottle of time travel sickness pills, which Jamie opened yesterday. I hadn't opened them yet because then I thought maybe I'd have to time travel. But Jamie opened them yesterday, so I guess time travel's coming, whether I want it or not. Maybe, like I said, maybe it was me from the future. Or if it was you, thank you. You can let me know. You don't have to send, you know, surprise gifts. I love getting gifts from you guys. You guys are fantastic. But uh, they don't have to be a surprise, or, like I said, maybe I'm doing a time travel episode in 2024. Maybe that's the first prediction. Oh, yeah, I didn't even say what this episode's about. That's right. It's time for the 2024 predictions. That's what this episode is about. We're going to get to paranormal news in just a second. I already played the bumper music, so relax. It's cool. <clears throat> but this week's episode will kind of quickly review the 2023 predictions from me. I don't care what the rest of those air quote psychics said they didn't get them any more right than I did. I didn't get a ton right, thankfully, but you'll hear that in a minute. But then we'll do the 2024 predictions. But first, as always, we got paranormal news to get into, so let me get right in into it. Is it going to work this time? Fingers crossed. Yeah, all right, there we go. Uh, the first story in paranormal news, Joan Rivers' allegedly haunted $28 million penthouse just hit a major snag. I didn't even know that Joan Rivers was off haunting a penthouse, but apparently she is, and it's $28 million. It says nearly everything Joan Rivers did was iconic, from her comedy to her lavish living, 
Speaking of lavish living, did you know she had a multi-million dollar penthouse she was convinced was haunted? Kurt here. No, I just said I didn't. So it's not her haunting it, apparently. <clears throat> After Rivers passed away in 2014, her country home in Connecticut and New York City penthouse hit the market. While the Connecticut home sold for $4.4 million in October 2023, her penthouse has hit a major snag while trying to find a buyer. For those who need a refresher, Rivers had a $35 million penthouse that hit the market three years ago for $28 million. Earlier this year, it dropped another $4 million. And as of December 2023, it's officially off the market after not being able to find another buyer. Per the New York Post, the current proprietor is Prince Mamad bin Fad of the Saudi royal family, son of the late King Fad, and former governor of the Saudi Arabia's eastern province. And if you're Prince Mohammed bin, bin Fad listening to this right now, you want to buy me a place in New York? There's a place, there's a real cool place in upper, up, upstate New York in Chappaqua, but uh, any place in the Dakota would be phenomenal. Or just let me stay in a place in the Dakota for the night. You know, just be like, hey, I want to buy this for the night. You got enough money? Come on, man. Help me out. Uh, let's see. He tried uh, selling it. And he's tried selling it since 2021 with no such luck. While the price is steep, the uh, home is something out of a luxurious fairy tale. In details and photos obtained by the same outlet, the triplex penthouse has views of Central Park, marble entryways, Five wood-burning fireplaces, terrace, and 23-foot ceilings. All right, that's impressive. It has five bedrooms, five baths, and is the definition of neo-French classic. It's allegedly haunted, as we said. During a 2009 appearance in the episode of Celebrity Ghost, River, <laughs> Celebrity Ghost Stories, Rivers claimed that a woman named Mrs. Spencer haunted the home, which was believed to be J.P. Morgan's niece. Her people, her neighbors told her that they saw apparitions, so she brought in a voodoo priestess and later hung a portrait of Mrs. Spencer, which allegedly led the hauntings to stop. So it seems fine then. Mrs. Spencer seems fine. I would love to know what the place actually looks like, um, but I don't think there's any links to it. If I find any links to it, I'll throw it up in the Facebook fan page because I love, like I said, uh, like I said jokingly, I was trying to do a, a cele or a, um, holiday Yule log for everybody to watch, like a paranormal holiday Yule log, but I, I don't I don't know how to make that. I'm still struggling desperately with this stupid, bad idea um, uh, video that I'm trying to do. I, 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 I'm, I'm just not good. At, you know, the Black Dolly one I was talking about, I'm just not good at it. It's taking me way too long, and I get so frustrated, I just stop and put it away, and I'm like, I'll look at that next week. Uh, so I can't make a Yule log. So I said, oh, maybe I'll, I was joking. Like, maybe I'll put on my Batman bathrobe and you guys can just watch me as I go through, you know, Zillow listings of places I can't afford, which are everything on Zillow. Um, but yeah, so let's see. Is there anything? Is the listing here? No. No, there's not. Um, so if I find the listing, I'll let you know because that's just cool. Yeah, no. Stop. Stop searching for it, Internet. Uh, all right, up next in paranormal news. This one just happened um, today, actually. I think it was. Yeah, it was today. Um, come on, computer. Man, my computer is being bad this year. This year is not a good year for Kurt's computer. A scoop. House members to receive classified UFO briefing. And there are a ton of news articles, all with the same info about the fact that the members of the House Oversight Committee will receive a classified briefing on UAPs. Uh, why it matters? Congressional interest in the... Yeah, you know why it matters. When will it happen? Let's see. Really? It doesn't really say that? No, screw that crap. There's got to be a better article that tells me more about when, it, when it's going to happen. Next week. Here we go. This, I'm going to go to another news source here. Like I said, every news source had a bunch about this. So next week, UFO briefing to receive, UFO, House members to receive classified UFO briefing. The briefing will be by the Office of the Inspector General for Intelligence. Whistleblower David Grouch made his initial complaint to the OIG, um, but they said that he hasn't provided proof to the public, but said he told more to the OIG. That's true. Um, but they're going to receive a classified briefing the briefing will be limited to committee members and given by the Office of the Inspector General of the Intelligence Community. And, oh, that's it. I mean, it really is. seems like that's all the info. But it was announced this morning, 
that, yeah, there is going to be another House committee, which is a good thing because perhaps that's in one of my predictions. You'll have to wait and see. I don't want to spoil it. Already up next in paranormal news. Sorry, my computer is running slow, people that are watching this on video. Well, actually, we're listening to this. Oh, no. Did it crash? Did it crash? No, we're good still. Yuri Geller, litigious Yuri Geller. So I don't know if you guys know what I think of Yuri Geller. I would never say it out loud because he's so litigious, but he posted a picture of a UFO in Israel, but uh, social media got a hold of it and took a look at it, and they went, um, yeah, that's a lamppost. So Israeli psychic and mystifier Yuri Geller shared a photo of a UFO in Israel he said was sent to him by senior IDF officers, but social media dubbed it a streetlight. Uh, let's see. The photograph was taken by, quote-unquote, an Israeli lieutenant colonel who's close friend. He was driving today by a sensitive installment installation in southern Israel when he photographed this strange-looking object simply hanging in the sky. The picture, in, uh, the picture in question seems to depict a gray object along the side of an unidentified road in Israel. Uh, let me go to the picture, and let me see if I can share this screen, because I do want you guys to see this. Well, that's just an ad for flooring. Okay, thank you. There we go. I want to see the picture. Oh, come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, computer. You can do it. I think I'm going to predict that I'm going to buy a new laptop for 2024, because this is ridiculous. This is a new laptop. It's pr practically new. Uh, aha. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, there we go. Make it even bigger. <laughs> it's so obviously a lap, uh, lamppost. All righty, so there you have it. What you got here is the quote-unquote UFO that Yuri Geller posted that is 100% a lamppost. Like 100% a lamppost. I, I wish I could point directly at it. Um, I, but I can't. I wish I could point directly at it because this is hilarious. Um, oh, so good. But there you go. Um, it's so good. It's so bad looking. Um, there you go. So anyhow, I'll post that. I'll post that photo up on on the Facebook fan page as well. Um, it's a, it's obviously a lamppost. There's not in. It's not even remotely UFO looking. If you've ever seen like a um, like Google Earth photo, if you ever like you know like the the whole like Google view, the street view, street views on Google Earth, that's what lampposts look like up and down there. It's Badly digitally erased or badly done uh, lamppost. So color me surprised that Yuri Geller is trying to fake something. Um, Because, yeah, he's so reputable. Up next in paranormal news. It was so it was so worth it just because it's just an obvious lamppost. Up next in Paranormal News, a series of Sasquatch sightings in Virginia community prompt police response. A series of suspected Sasquatch sightings in a Virginia community prompted a local police department to issue a statement where they received, where they revealed that the creature was merely a person in a costume. I was so bummed because the first hint of this story was like Sasquatch sightings. There's tons of them. There's going to be a million photos of these Sasquatch sightings. And it's going to blow your mind. No. Uh, let me go to the actual local media report, though. It says, is Bigfoot real or not? By the Wintergreen Police Department. Oh, I don't like the Wintergreen Police Department as much as I like like the Spearmint Police Department or the Peppermint or Doublemint Police Department, but still, in a bind, like, you know, you know, like when you were hanging out with your grandma and you asked her if she had any candy and she said no, and you're like, well, you have any gum? And she handed you Wintergreen gum. Not the best, but it'll do. So Wintergreen Police Department says no. Sadly, no. We may never know. We do know that the Bigfoot sightings on the mountains were staged. 
the individual behind it was just trying to have a little fun and create a little lighthearted conversation. So womp womp, I gotta get that as a button. Womp womp, no Sasquatch sightings from there this week. So let's go on to the last story in paranormal news because I wanna get right on into the predictions. The last story in, and my computers just can't handle basic opening up tabs right now. So I gotta knock that off pretty quick. Last story, come on, you got one more you gotta open up. Come on, computer. One more you got to open up. Telling you, this is going to be a good one. I don't know if I'm ever going to... I might not release this video because this is just horrific of me panicking. Is this tab going to open? That's what the whole video is going to look like. So maybe. We'll see. But the finally, the Thurston County man recounts sightings to Sasquatch organization. That's right. A series of Sasquatch encounters were detailed in an account shared by Eric James, who's a 41-year-old resident of Lacey, James contacted the Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization, or RMSO, and provided his story along with photographs of evidence of Bigfoot. He recounted his first Sasquatch experience at age 5 and 7 near the Bald Hills past Yelm to the RMSO. However, a recent encounter during the summer of this year left an indelible mark on the man. Following his niece's graduation, he embarked on a rock-hounding excursion for agates near Little Natchez, at his brother's invitation over two and a half months, Eric James claims to have had at least eight distinct Sasquatch encounters in three locations. Little Natchez, Deschutze Falls, sure, I got that wrong, and Nisqually, I got that wrong too probably, Riverbend Campground. So we got Little Natchez. We've got Deschutze Fall and Nisqually Riverbend Campground. His experiences include sightings of at least four Sasquatches, capturing photographs of one, spotting footprints, and even obtaining what claims to be a Sasquatch finger bone shared by his brother who wishes wishes to remain anonymous. He says, I also have video of the wet spots and footprints we found. Wet spots? What the hell? We found on the Nisqually River. Really way too much for me to share on a Facebook post. Hurt here? No, it's not. It's actually real easy. My shitty computer right now could share that on a Facebook post. It'd be real easy to do. The photographs he shared on Facebook include images of footprints, a small yet deep print near his first encounter, and a large Sasquatch footprint next to a smaller one. One image taken the night after his first encounter captured what he describes as a Sasquatch snapping a tree, producing a, quote, thunder-like sound. He also shared x-rays of an alleged Sasquatch finger bone, Comparing its size to his own finger bone. Why aren't you talking about where and how you found that finger bone? RMSO responded to James's post, expressing amazement at his encounters and interest in hearing the details of the four Sasquatches he claims to have seen in a single encounter. In the exchange, he provided additional details, including the, the locations of the sightings. Um, he also reveals that he attempted to share his discoveries with the Bigfoot Field Research Organization, but faced challenges. He remains assured, uh, he remains assured his findings are real, and he uh, wants his story told. All right, hey dude, I'm not, I'm not really slamming you. I'm just having fun with you. But all right, Eric James from Lacey, reach out to me because I want to, I want to know more about it. I want to know more about the the finger bone, and I want to see the where where Sasquatch were sleeping and the footprints and everything. So here you go. You can talk about it as much as you like, and you can share a ton of stuff right here on this podcast. I'll try to find him on Facebook and reach out to him. I think that'd be fun. All right, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Paranormal Almanac. We are back. All right. I know I already talked about the incredible Holden Yeager new music. I'll play this in the background while I talk. But I need new merch ideas so I can get motivated to make some new merch for you guys. Uh, So what new merch do you want to see? Send your ideas in, again, to Paranormal Almanac. Oh, shut up, Kurt. Shut up. Shut up, Kurt. Thank you. Send your your ideas in to paranormalalmanac at gmail.com. I'm not the best at making shirts, but I think I've made some cool shirts. So just give me a rough idea. I don't want you to be specific. I don't want you to be like, 
Here's what I want. I want four triangles. I want one blue, and then kind of overlapping, I want an orange one. And then behind that one, I want it to be Bigfoot's face. And then in front of that one, I want it to be an alien blowing Bigfoot. All right, relax. Just be like, hey, you know what would be funny? A uh, shirt where uh, aliens are kissing Bigfoot, and then I'll see what I can do. But, you know, don't go too specific. Or say, like, hey, how about, like, a spoof on Hard Rock Cafe shirt? That's actually a good idea. I'm taking that. Uh, but it'll say, like, Paranormal Almanac Cafe. Maybe. We'll see. But that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Let's have some fun with it. So, again, send your ideas in to paranormalalmanac at gmail.com. But let's get into it. Let's get into the predictions. That's what this episode is about. It's not going to be the longest episode this week. Predictions episodes are generally shorter episodes, but I like doing them because it shows me and you and the world that these air quote psychics are just that, air quote psychics. They're just pulling shit out of their ass just as much as I did and just making up shit and throwing it against the wall and seeing what sticks, seeing what they get lucky with. Honestly. That's all that I'm personally doing. I'm just thinking about stuff, hedging my bets on a couple, throwing a couple of softballs out there. Like the one when I said, like, hey, the queen's going to die. You know, shit, she's like 100. Of course she was going to die. Um, that was an easy one. That was a softball. She'd been sick a lot, but every psychic did it and then took credit for it when she died. They, could, they all did the same bullshit about, like, if you go back and listen, or if you go back and look at my Twitter bullshit, you'll see I said the queen's going to die in 2022. Yeah, it's real easy to do this. So I thought I'd have a little fun. I Just just know I'm having fun with this. Don't think like, whoa, Kurt is actually psychic. I got to start asking him questions about my future. I don't know fuck all. I don't even know fuck all about my future. Hell, if I did, I'd own a place, and this would be a TV show. It's clearly not, and I clearly don't. But... For the 2023 predictions, I'm not going to go through my entire 2023 predictions list like I did with the 2022 ones on that last episode. Um, you can always go back and listen to that episode. I think it's episode 213, Tracy said, um, but you can find it. It's predictions for 2023 episodes. It's real easy to find. Uh, but I'm going to do a quick run through and then we'll say, did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? Hold on. I need my, I need my ding noise. Let's see. Correct answer. Okay, there we go. Wrong answer. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Uh, let's see. COVID stays. There was a lot of psychics for 2023 that said, COVID, it's done. We're, we are going to cure it. It's it's done and over. And I, so for them, no. COVID stays? Hell yeah, it did. And I went into more detail about that. Uh, again, you can listen to that old episode. Whether you like to believe it or not, the earth is round and COVID is here. Uh, Dick Van Dyke is going to die, thankfully. I was wrong about that, and I'm very happy to say I was wrong about that. Tom Baker of Doctor Who is going to die. I was wrong about that, thankfully. There was a lot of people that got so angry. Oh, don't you say that Tom Baker is going to die. Look, I don't, I'm not going to kill him. These are just predictions, but, but... Two companions of the doctors died last year. So half point? Not really, but you know what? I can take it. Ozzy Osbourne is going to die. I thought that was going to be, that was going to be, that was my softball one. I really did think that was my softball one for 2023, but somehow he's, he's still going and I'm happy for it. Um, here we go. I predicted that a young actor the young actor's death is going to shock the world. And a lot of people, when Matthew Perry sadly died, said, holy crap, you were right, Kurt. So Matthew Perry, do you consider him a young actor? If so, I mean, he's young-ish. Um, if so, it did shock the world. But then someone else said, when Angus Cloud from Euphoria died, they were like, holy shit, Kurt's right. So I'm going to give myself a half point. So I'm only two out of, what, six so far? Not great. Uh, I also said that there would be massive water shortages and gas shortages. Yeah. Sadly, I could easily predict that for 2024, and I think I'm going to have a, a, a right one. So I'm just going to say it now. For 2024, here's a preview of my next predictions. Uh, yeah, massive water and gas shortages. 
Um, this next one. I said that Aaron Taylor Johnson was going to be announced the next James Bond. And strangely, right after I released the episode, Buzz started getting out about it and that he was like one of the, you know, the hot choices, which was really weird. It was like right afterwards. So I was like, holy shit. All right. Maybe I should put a neon hand in my window and start doing psychic shit. But uh, no, they didn't announce the new James Bond. But according to a bookie site about Hollywood, here we go. According to Lad Brokes, which is a booking site about Hollywood where you can actually place real bets, real money on it. Here's where it stands for the new James Bond. Bridgerton's Roger Jean Page. I don't know. I don't watch Bridgerton. Uh, some dude from Bridgerton, he is the favorite with odds of five to one. Just ahead of, oh, he's not the favorite. I apologize. He's one of the second favorites, or the third favorites, uh, with odds of five to one. Just ahead of him. With four to one odds is Happy Valley's James Norton. Again, I don't know this guy either. I'm kind of curious if my computer won't crash. I want kind of want to see what this guy looks like. Who's James Norton, and does he look like James Bond to me? Oh, sure, yeah, I got, yeah, he looks like a James Bond. Sure, let's make him James Bond. Uh, that's not my prediction. I still think that. Um, Aaron Taylor Johnson has a real good shot at it. And then Snowfall's Damson Idris is next in line with uh, odds of 9-2. to two. Those are only three that they talked about. They didn't even mention Aaron Taylor Johnson, so maybe he fucked up his uh, audition. I don't know. But uh, so, no, I didn't get that one right. But this next one, boy, howdy, did I get this next one right. A 60s classic singer will die. Tony Bennett. When it happened, I had a bunch of people message me going, didn't you predict this? And Well, kind of, yeah. Uh, East Coast, Storm of the Decade. Yep. Ring of Fire going off like crazy. Yep. But this next one. Spooky enough, this next one. I said that there would be a religious site, religious shocker. I don't. I forget how exactly how I worded it. You can go back and listen to it. But there would be an, you know, an insane religious shocker at a religious location uh, in 2023. And I will say, sadly, the um, Hamas-Israel war that's going on is the only way you can describe it. I'll call that one a big one point for me, sadly. Yeah, I'm going to give myself that one. Death of a U.S. president? But half points because Jimmy Carter's wife died? Mm, I'm going to give myself a half point. The next one, I said... Elon Musk is going to get even more lame super villainy. Come on. Come on. Yes. A hundred percent big yes. I don't care if you like him or if you hate him. He got lame super villainy in 2023. Uh, this next one, China declares war. Not yet, but that's my next prediction for, that's another one that, you know, is my uh, spoiler for predictions for 2024. I'm going to say 2024 on that one. I really thought it was going to happen, and I think it might have happened had it things gone a little bit differently in America. But, yeah, it did. How about this next one? I said another treasure will be found. Well, let's go to the news for this one. Sorry, computer, I lied. There's one more tab you got to open up. Oh, it's, it's, it's exciting. Is it going to open up a tab? I predict yes. Let's see what happens. Yes. According to LiveScience.com, archaeology's department or whatever, 10 extraordinary treasures that archaeologists uncovered, unearthed, or discovered this year. We have, number one, massive coin collection in Japan. It actually was really cool looking. Number two, underwater temple overflowing with sunken treasure in Egypt. Again, incredible. A uh, lost rainbow cup minted by Celts in Germany. Yep. Uh, let's keep going. Civil War era coins buried in a Kentucky corn cornfield. This is the one where I was like, oh, I called that one. Um, Eye-catching gold hair ring and a Bronze Age burial in Wales. Sure, that one's cool. I didn't even hear about that one. Bronze Age swords and thousands of medieval coins in Germany. That's cool. Iron Age glass workshop littered with Celtic coins in the Czech Republic. Sure, that's cool. Gold necklaces revealed by a landslide in Spain. That's cool. That never happens to me. 
Coin stash unearthed at an ancient Buddhist shrine in Pakistan. That was another one that was really cool. The pot kind of like broke around them and they're all like silver and fused together. Copper coins tucked away in a clay jug in Poland. That was another one. Big, big year for finding uh, coins this year. So yeah, I'm going to call myself yes on that one. Um, yeah, I give myself a point for that one. Then next I said, unexpected ally peace. Sadly, no. Uh, and then I said, an actor whose death would shock the world. For me, sadly, it was uh, Paul Rubens, Pee Wee Herman. A uh, huge, huge Paul Rubens fan, Pee Wee Herman fan. And, the, you know, I think I talked about it online. That one broke me, absolutely broke me. But a lot of people said, no, 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 it's Matthew Perry when Matthew Perry died. So there you go. So what did I get out of that? Let me see how many I got out of that. Um, uh, one, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half. Here's the other half. So eight. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed one. International plane crash. Yeah, there was a huge plane crash in Nepal, so I, yep, that's a yes. So that's nine. Uh, Ten for the treasure and actors shocked the world. That's 11. So 11 out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, and Elon Musk, yeah, it's fine. Uh, 11 out of like 15 or so. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, I think I got more than that. I don't know. Go back and do the, someone tally it up for me. But I think I did pretty good. I will say this. I'm not going to tell, I'm not going to talk about the predictions that happen. Again, you can go back and listen to that last episode and you can count for yourself how many of those air quote psychics got right. I still did better than them. Still did better than them. So for this year, before I get to my 2024 predictions that I already wrote down before reading anybody else's predictions, that's why normally I do this right on the 1st. December 31st, I talk about doing it. I needed a little buffer, so first I had it all figured out and written down. Doing it the 2nd, I still think that counts as the beginning of the year. Um, <clears throat> but before I read anybody else's, or before I read mine, um, let's hear what the other air quote psychics have to say. That's right. I did, like I said, I scored better than other psychics. I'm definitely using air quotes, but let's see what they predicted for 2024. All right, computer, I forgot. There's going to be uh, four more, ooh, four more tabs you got to open. Why is my microphone unplugged? Uh oh, this is saying my microphone's unplugged. You guys can hear me, right? Yeah, you guys can hear me. <clears throat> Pardon me, I don't know what this is. What this is saying. I'm telling you, my computer is fading fast. But uh, all right, so there's not going to be a video. Because according to StreamYard, my microphone is unplugged. The hell? Why would that happen? All right, so there's not going to be any video this year. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> or, or for this episode. First of the episode of the year. Uh, but that's actually might be a good thing. and might actually save my computer a little bit having that closed. So you're going to have to just listen to me for this episode and not see me. Trust me, I look the same. It's only been a year since I've talked to you last. Um, hold on. No, no, no. Oh, I'm on the wrong tab. I was going to say, oh, I can do bad dad joke uh, laughter for you. There you go. <laughs> it's only been a year since I saw you guys or talked to you guys last. It's a terrible joke. Never use that joke, people. Or do it like I did, as bad as you can. Like when you, when you talked to your coworkers today and you were like, whoa, I haven't seen you since last year. Yeah, come on. It's fucking lame. All righty, so here we go. <clears throat> All right, let me get back into it. Top 10 predictions for 2024 by celebrity psychics. Prepare for twists and turns. Oh, I'm prepared. First one, political upheaval. Celebrity, big air quotes, psychic Yuri Geller back on this episode again. He predicts a major political scandal erupting in the first half of 2024, shaking the foundations of a powerful nation. Come on, Kurt here. That's a gimme. Oh, come on. It's stupid. Uh, only time will tell what it is. Next, tech breakthroughs. Tech visionary Sylvia Brown, channeling her wisdom from beyond, foresees a monumental breakthrough in artificial intelligence. Ooh, there's a psychic prediction for you. Blurring the lines between human and machine. Prepare for ethical quandaries and philosophical debates as AI's capabilities soar to unprecedented heights. 
Yeah, like basically everything that's been in the news for the past year. Come on. Up next, Mystic Michel Nostradamus or Michel Nostradamus warns of a great flood in the spring of 2024, 2024, a stark reminder of the pressing climate crisis. Will humanity heed this ominous warning and take decisive action to protect our planet? Up next, renowned numerologist Terry Cole Whitaker predicts a period of unexpected economic turbulence in the late summer of 2024. Brace for market fluctuations and a need for adaptability as traditional financial models faces challenges. Kurt here, that happens after every election. And don't we have an election coming up this year? I think we do. That is a very easy one. I could say, look, I could, you want, here, here's two more spoiler predictions. Political turmoil in America. The stock market will fluctuate around the time of political turmoil in America. All right, let me keep going here. Celebrity heartbreak. Prepare for tears and tabloid headlines as celebrity psychic Derek Akora foresees a major public separation between a beloved celebrity couple in the fall of 2024. Will this be an amicable parting of the ways or a messy drama-filled divorce? Next, artistic revolution. Visionary painter Jean Mattel Basqua, Michel Basqua, speaking through psychic medium John Edward. I was going to say, isn't he dead? Um, All right, so John Edward is the one doing this. Let's not pull visionary painter into this. He prophesizes a revolutionary artistic movement emerging in 2024, challenging established norms and pushing the boundaries of creativity. Get ready for a vibrant explosion of color and unconventional expression. Medical breakthrough, renowned psychic surgeon Edgar Cayce, channeled by his grandson. So, again, not from Edgar Cayce. He predicts a significant medical breakthrough in the field of cancer treatments in the winter of 2024. Hope flickers on the horizon for those battling this devastating disease. That's interesting, and you'll find out why when I do my predictions. Up next, space exploration. Prepare for blastoff. A celebrity psychic, Shirley MacLaine, predicts a major discovery on Mars in the early months of 2024. Are we on the verge of finding extraterrestrial life? Buckle up, space enthusiasts, for this could be a giant leap. For mankind. Animal advocate, celebrity psychic, Miss Cleo. Remember her? from? Wasn't she the one that did all like the, the 1-900? Like, call Miss Cleo now. I think it is. She foresees a powerful new voice rising in the fight for animal rights in 2024. Kurt here, I hope so. The uh, This charismatic leader, charismatic, or is because charismatic isn't really the best description. This charismatic leader will capture hearts and minds, pushing for greater protection and respect for our furry, feathered, and scaled companions. I hope so. That's a good one. That sounds awesome. Number 10, spiritual awakening. Prepare for a deepening interest in spirituality and self-discovery in 2024, predicted by Mystic Osho. Meditation, mindfulness, and alternative healing practices will gain mainstream traction as individuals seek meaning and connection beyond the material world. Remember, dear readers, these are just glimpses into the tapestry of the possibilities for 2024. Whether you believe in the power of psychic prediction or not, one thing is certain. The coming year promises to be a roller coaster ride of surprises, challenges, and triumphs. Approach it with an open mind, a curious heart, and a readiness to embrace the unexpected. After all, isn't that what makes life so thrilling? Oh my god, then there's bonus predictions. This site has everything. Bonus prediction number one, a rare astronomical phenomena will captivate sky sky gazers in the summer of 2024. A lost city of an ancient civilization will be unearthed in the early months of the year. And a groundbreaking discovery in the field of renewable energy will offer hope for a sustainable future. So there you have it. That's only one website. That's a lot. I've got three more websites to go through. Let's see. This next one. I might not read them all, but they're kind of dumb and fun, so maybe I will. Psychics 2024 prediction from England. Taylor Swift's popularity will shift. Jennifer Aniston will make a a big announcement and huge storms will shock the world. First, uh, let's get, come on, let's get into it. I don't care about any of that stuff. Uh, Miss Smith says, um, Taylor Swift will become even more powerful. 
Joe Biden winning another term in the White House, and Jennifer Aniston finally finding love. That's right, Taylor Swift will become even more popular. Kurt here, yeah, no shit. She's blowing over the, like, she's taking over the world. She's phenomenal. She's gorgeous, and she's dating some, like, football player or some shit. She's going to do just fine. She's selling out stadiums like crazy. Not a hot prediction. Kurt here, no. Uh, she also says that uh, <clears throat> Jennifer Aniston will find her soulmate. Oh, that's nice. I hope so. Uh, something about Prince Harry will step up as a leader. Okay, I don't care. Um, she predicts a challenging and unpredictable year, particularly in the second half. She is urging us all not to fixate on ideas as life could change at a moment's notice. The biggest skill you can have in 2024 is deep throat. Oh, no, it's uh, flexibility. Uh, she says, I'm troubled by our com our country's economy. That's UK. The average person is already struggling with more to come in a very dark cloud to view. People can't keep up with everything to do on their own jobs. There will be issues with electricity supplies, increased uh, relationship breakdowns, negative health outcomes, and increased rates of stress. Great. That's what I need. Uh, as Harry matures, he'll become more of a leader on the world stage. Sure. Cool. Why not? I don't care. Jennifer Aniston, um, she'll go public with a new romance in 2024. She's finally found a decent guy who really loves her. She gets the relationship that she wants. He's the host of Paranormal Almanac. No, I want Anna Kendrick. Come on, lady. Miss Smith, what the hell? Uh, she says that uh, Taylor Swift is going to do more stuff. Yeah, it's come on. It's dumb. Um, she again sees a baby around Mr. Albanese. Who the hell is Mr. Albanese? What the hell? A uh, baby can also mean a rebirth or life-changing event. No, come on, you're hedging your bets there. Who but the, who the hell's Mr. Albanese? If you go if you know who Mr. Albanese is, let me know because she's predicting fun stuff. And then she predicts that uh, Joe Biden um will win the election. I'm not talking about politics cuz everybody freaks out, so I'm going to skip over to the next site. This next site predictions says this one's coming from Australia. Brazilian psychic Athos Salome, dubbed the living Nostradamus. You know who's dubbed the dead Nostradamus? Fun fact, it's Nostradamus. Uh, but Athos Salome, he predicts, uh, he makes chilling predictions for 2024. Let's do this. He's credited with predicting Adolf Hitler's rise to part. No, that's, that's the actual Nostradamus. Come on, fuckwad, where is this guy? Uh, come on, let's see. Oh, here we go. A new threat will cause a global con conflict, but it won't originate from current wars in the Ukraine, Ukraine or Gaza. But World War Three is coming. Kurt here. Yeah, uh, I already said that China's going to start a war. Um, it's going to happen, sadly. It's it's big. North Korea said they're going to try and do like a nu nuclear war. Look, it's going to be bad is what I'm saying. It's not So far, I'm not impressed by Mr. Salami here. Um any conflicts can have a profound impact, leading to recessions in several major, major economies. Well, that never happens during wars. That has never once happened where if there's a war, then there's economic ink. Of course that's what's going to happen if there's a war. Come on. Natural disasters. A series of natural disasters will sweep the globe. He says he knows exactly where these incidents will strike. But then he doesn't say it. Well, that's lovely. He says they will likely include hurricanes, storms, and forest fires. He'll talk to the dead. He predicts that in 2024, people will be able to talk to their dead loved ones thanks to artificial intelligence. He wrote on Instagram, The bomb reveal for 2024, or better yet, starting in 2024. Imagine talking to deceased loved ones and even discovering secrets from past lives, all thanks to an innovation in artificial intelligence. This technology is not just a scientific breakthrough, but a giant step in understanding the human journey. It promises to unravel the mysteries of existence, offering comfort and a profound understanding for our of our life missions. All right, I I want I'm very curious to know about this technology though. He goes on to say that surprise, this technology. Oops, sorry, surprise. This technology is the result of a secret international collaboration. Tests are already underway. Spinning paranormal and geniuses explore. Well, Kurt here, I'm part of the paranormal community and no one's talking to me about it. Exploring the idea that we're more than flesh and bone. We are eternal energy. The question that remains is, are we able to, are we about to turn a new page in human history or complicated with forces we don't understand? 2024, the year that promises to change everything. Wow. I want to have like, you know, like 
that bump music that happens in in like sci-fi trailers like that needed that in a world where we talk to our dead loved ones and we assume it's actually happening because it's AI and we don't dig up our actual loved ones it's the year that promised the year that promises to change the I fucked it up I can't do it Alrighty, there's going to be a new pandemic. Oh, that's lovely. He said it's going to come from the South Pole. So everybody stay away from the South Pole. And if you go to the South Pole, don't don't come near me. How about that? That's a good deal for... Look, I want to stay at the Queen Mary. That's still going to happen. We're going to talk about that um, on the next episode. But if we do, and you've just come back from the South Pole, but you want to stay at the Queen Mary with me, no. You, you're, you have to wear one of those little bubble suits, you know? Those suits like, like Outbreak movie, one of those suits. You got to wear one of those because... He warns if this new virus goes unchecked, suffering, mental, and material damage will proliferate, prol- proliferate, proliferate, there we go, death, and this virus will be known as the greatest grim reaper in history. Yay! So congrats to that virus. Alien contact. He believes this year will mark a huge chapter in space exploration. Um, he is forecast in the sun that humans and aliens will communicate through encrypted signals intercepted by a network of telescopes and that a new space race will be sparked after discovery of an asteroid abundant with rich materials. Kurt here, they already discovered it. It's like worth like 10 quadrillion dollars. Yeah, it's already happened. It's platinum and a whole bunch of other stuff. And they're already talking about how they can wrangle it one day. So that's not really a prediction. And finally, the last Air quotes, uh, celebrity psychic predictions. I'm a time traveler from 2671. My seven wildest 2024 predictions from UFO discoveries to whole countries disappearing. Well, guess what? If you are actually a time traveler from 2671, these wouldn't be predictions. That's like me saying, you know, I predict in 1977 there's going to be a movie called Star Wars. It's going to blow your mind. Yeah, well, um, it's it, you know from the future. I went back in time and told you about it. That's not surprising. But a TikTok user who says he's a time traveler has given his 2024 predictions. His name, Eno Alaric. That can't, that's not a real name. Is it backwards? Let's see. Seralon. Nope, but I want to do, look, here's, here's, your, here's your next spoiler. At the end of this episode, I'm probably going to say Eno Alaric backwards just to see what it sounds like. But he posts under the account... Radiant time traveler. Ooh, he's got a high view of himself. He says he's from the year 2671. Let's see, March. An ancient artifact is known is found. Known as Pandora's Box, it is opened and releases many unknown mysteries. July 4th, a massive alien ship appears in the sky, just staring at it, studying, trying to... Dis- well, that's just the... That's just... That, that, that's just the movie with... Um, you know, you know, with Will Smith, that, that, that movie... You know, that's just that. Come on. Um, come on, I want more, though. Let's see. Yes, I'm a real time traveler. Yes, these are going to happen. I want more. Um, oh, he doesn't give any more. Really? Well, that uh, that's disappointing. That's just disappointing. I only got two of these. One in March and one in July, which is just the, you know, the premise of Independence Day. All right, fuck y'all. Let's go to mine. How about that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. It's time. Now, look, I wanted to do something different for this one. I figured since I keep scoring as good or better than those other air quote psychics, why not double the amount of predictions I do for this year? Some of them I've already given you. Some of them I haven't yet. But there's going to be a lot of predictions from... Good old Psychic Kurt. I was trying to think of a better psychic name right then, but I didn't. nothing came to me. All righty, my predictions for 2024. I already said it, but China will declare war. Yeah, sure, why not? This one, I, did, I do agree with that first psychic. A cure for a major disease, like a, I'm talking like a huge medical breakthrough, will happen in 2024. I predict that it will happen. A cure for a major disease, some kind of huge medical breakthrough will happen in 2024. Now, not playing it as safe, the Pope will die. Look, if the Pope dies, I didn't have anything to do with killing the Pope. I'm just saying that the Pope is going to die. This next one bums me out. I don't want to say it, but I'm going to, I'm going to say it. And I hope it's just like the Dick Van Dyke one. I hope it doesn't happen. Mel Brooks will die in 2024. Boy, I hope that doesn't happen. 
And this next one, he kind of got crazy as he got older, but still, I don't want him dead. Clint Eastwood will die in 2024. See, I'm being, like, specific this year. Like, I got some, like, random stuff, but I'm trying to be as specific as possible to blow your minds. So remember these. When, these shit ha- when this shit happens, you got to hit me up and be like, hey, you predicted that. And I'll be like, yeah. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, in um, the beginning of 2023, December 31st, technically, of 2022, I predicted that Ian Ziering of Beverly Hills 90210 would get his ass kicked in Hollywood on Hollywood Boulevard by a bunch of mini bikers. And it took almost a full year to make it happen, but then it happened. You don't have to listen back. I didn't actually predict that, but like, had I, how cool would that have been? I would have been on every news story in the world would have been like, this guy that does this podcast, this paranormal podcast, he predicted Ian Ziering's going to get his ass kicked in Hollywood by a bunch of mini bikers, and it happened. Sorry, sorry. I should predict something batshit crazy like that in case it does happen, but uh, let's keep going. The next prediction for 2024 from Psychic Kurt, from Celebrity Psychic Kurt. Someone from the band Kiss is going to die. That's right, Kiss. They just did their, I don't know, 90th farewell concert. One of them, they're going to die in 2024. Keeping with uh, music, a big 1980s singer is going to die in 2024. Still keeping with music. We will lose one of the biggest British invasion stars this year. It hurts me to say it. I don't want to lose any of them, but we're going to. Uh, this next prediction, this one's my safe bet prediction. We're going to lose more actors to fentanyl this year. This next prediction, though, there's going to be a big, enormous ecological disaster, an ecological disaster that's going to make everybody go, holy shit, and make hopefully some of these people that don't think that climate change is real and the earth is round, make them, make them go like, oh, shit, maybe this shit is real. It's going to be a huge Ecological disaster in 2024, whether that be like uh, rays from the sun knocking out stuff or if it's going to be like, you know, floods that are unprecedented or just weather patterns that are unprecedented. But it's going to be huge and it's going to be very noticeable. Like it's going to be like, oh, that's what Kurt was talking about. This next one, this one's just for me. I'm very excited about it. Weird Al and They Might Be Giants will individually have new albums, new songs, out this year. That's my prediction. Remember that when it happens. You guys know the comedy uh, the comedy group, The State? You know, like Ken Marino and Thomas Lennon and uh, Joe Latruglio and, you know, Ben Garant, all those guys. The State will tour again. You're going to say, Kurt, they already toured in 2023. They haven't, yeah, they have, but they haven't announced anything yet, but they're going to tour in 2024 with new material. And Kurt's going to go see them. That's a good prediction. This next one, AI will translate an archaeological find. Ooh, what does that mean? We'll have to wait and see. This next one, we're going to lose some 90s actors. I'm not happy about it. That's my big, you know, era when I did all that extra work and all that fun stuff. But we're going to lose some 90s actors this year in 2024. This next one, there is going to be a celebrity car crash. And it's going to be not just like some fender bender you know, it's going to be a big celebrity car crash, and it's going to be, uh, you know, pretty horrific. The next prediction, Kurt, 2024. One of the biggest earthquakes on record is going to happen. Now, I will say, I wrote this one prior to the Japan earthquake on, what was it? Uh, was it on the 1st or December 31st? I think it was on December 31st, but yeah, so scary. I wrote it before that happened. And I was like, oh, God, no. Um, yeah, uh, this next one. There's going to be a TV show called Ghost Girls. Right now, you can watch that. Watch the first couple episodes or the first episode on Plex. But Ghost Girls will be picked up as a TV series, and I, Kurt Sandvig, will help them as much as I possibly can. Fingers crossed on that one. Come on, universe. I'm putting it out there. Up next, predictions for 2024. An all-star comedian will die. This next one is my big one because it hasn't happened in a long, long time. But a celebrity will be assassinated. Again, I will have nothing to do with it. Not by me. This is a prediction only. But a celebrity will be assassinated. This next one, Taylor Swift will get engaged. 
What? I'm putting it on record. She's going to get engaged this year. This next one is very important to me. And uh, universe, if you're listening, here's my prediction. I, Kurt Sandvig, will meet Anna Kendrick. Not in a stalkery, creepier way. Just be like, hey, I'm Kurt Sandvig. It's very nice to meet you. I love your work. I think you're a very beautiful woman. So, yeah, I'm going to meet uh, Anna Kendrick in 2024. Next. Fights break out over politics in America? What? Yeah, see? I can do predictions like that too, guys. It's, yeah. Fights will break out over politics in America. That's going to happen, sadly. Next. The paranormal community will lose a known person. And I don't mean they're going to go lost. Like, hey, you guys ever see uh, Grant from Ghost Hunters anymore? Uh, he, he was out, he was over here a second ago. Maybe he's in the bathroom or something. No, I mean, he's, they're going to, a paranormal community will lose, as in die, a, par, a person from the paranormal community will die. And it's going to be a known person. Not me, I'm not known. Up next, disclosure with proof of ships or bodies. Hold on, I, I got to turn it up for this one. Yes, that's right. There will be, I should, I should flower it like that one website was doing, but I don't need to. These predictions are, Bold enough as is. There's going to be disclosure in 2024 with proof of ships or bodies. What I mean by ships are UAPs, UFOs. You know what I mean. Up next, we're going to lose a famous astronaut, sadly. Hope not. I love I love astronauts. Up next, there's going to be a major archaeological discovery. And now I have something that's never been done on a Paranormal Almanac uh, prediction episode I've got two listener, two listeners that did predictions that I'm going to throw out to the world. And, and these are from the listeners only, so don't hate me if these happen. Hate, first up, listener Jamie. She said that Elton John is going to die in 2024. And that John Williams is going to die in 2024. Both bold predictions from Jamie. I hope neither of them happen. So if they do, you guys get mad at Jamie. And then listener Todd, coincidentally, were, was over here as well. I don't I wonder if they've ever met. i got to look that up. Uh, listener Todd says that there will be a natural disaster that will happen in the Philippines and that a Russian political figure will be assassinated in 2024. Those are, that's pretty bold. Oh, wait, no, he has another one. Sorry. Listener Todd also said, AES-128 will be cracked by AI. So when that happens, blame listener Todd or AI, you know, AI is going to be fucking, it's going to be funky this whole year. I can make predictions about AI. It's only going to get worse. There's even going to be more drama and controversy surrounding AI in 2024. Those are easy predictions from me. Some bold ones from Todd and some bold ones from Jamie, but there you have it. That is the 2024 predictions it happened the well the episode's going to be released january 2nd 2024 that's when this episode is going to be released if these things happen you got to give me credit but don't blame me if they happen just give me the credit um so what do you guys think what are your predictions for 2024 maybe i'll do that for next year i'll have listeners write in their predictions because that's kind of fun too but uh once again i'm your host kurt samig this has been my predictions for 2024 uh, thank you for listening to Paranormal Almanac. Please continue. Shut up. I'm talking. Shut up. I'm talking. Alexa, stop. And listen to more Paranormal Almanac in 2024. I predict that you will. Plants in the animal. See, but I go.